Hey what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to test or rewire a 3-pin oil pressure sensor on a diesel generator. This is a 1103 series Perkins engine, you can also find the same sensor at 1104 series engine. This sensor has three wires we can test the circuit simply by a multimeter. Let me zoom a bit so you guys can see it clearly. First unlock the plug and disconnect it from the sensor. There we go. This alligator clips are going to be our ground or negative circuit. Make sure connect them where we have a good ground contact. The other side of the clip is going to be connect with my multimeter's probe as a negative. Make sure they have good contact. Turn on the multimeter. Select the DC setting. There are three circuits. 5 volts reference circuit, sensor ground, and sensor's output or signal. First we need to find 5 volts reference. 11.8 volts. It should be 5 volts we are looking for 5 volts. The middle pin shows 0 volt. This should be sensor's ground. There we go. 5 volts. This is the sensor's 5 volts reference circuit. If you want to mark the wires it is from the left side first pin. Now we are going to find the ground wire. We need to select continuity in multimeter and then look for ground wire. There we go the middle pin is sensor's ground. Do you hear the buzzer? From left to right. The first wire is 5 volts reference the second wire is the ground and obviously the third wire is sensor's output signal to the genset controller. Now I'm going to start the engine and we are going to test the sensor's output signal to make sure there is reading about 1 volt or more. It depends on engine's RPM and oil pressure. My alligator clip still connected with the engine ground now I'm measuring the sensor's output voltage. The multimeter is now in DC volt. Now we are measuring the sensor's output voltage. 0.965 volts. Next we are going to check the signal circuit at the genset controller to make sure we don't have an open circuit. Before we unplug any wire or harness from genset controller first we need to disconnect the battery terminals. I'm going to turn off these breakers, I don't need to disconnect the battery terminals while these breakers are accessible. have already connected my alligator clip with the sensor's signal wire. It is all the way going to the controller side. It is going to help me to check the sensor's ground circuits to make sure the signal circuit is good and there is no open circuit somewhere. This side the alligator clip is connected to my multimeter's probe and now we are going to check the sensor's output here at the controller. Pin 56 is should be sensor's signal. I'm counting from pin 48 to find the correct pin. There is no open circuit the sensor's signal circuit continuity is good. I hope this video helped you out.